Hey Jules Bless Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those who are new I know you can benefit. So it is literally a minute to midnight. <laughs> I am just gonna make it on this day and my video. Oh my goodness. Um, I was busy doing applications of course because I don't have a teaching job and I am steadfast determined to have a teaching job. So I'm kind of going out further and further. God did present this one job that I would be beyond thrilled to get. Ah, oh, Kai, it like literally honors all the years of teaching. It pays completely fair and it's local. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Dare he be waiting on that opportunity? Just say yes, Father. Oh my gosh, prayers welcome. But I am continuing to apply all over the place, and some of those places are 50 miles, which is more than I care to drive, but I can do anything for a year, right? All right, so anyway, I am doing very well, by the way. I am completely clean and loving raw vegan, and my body's loving it, and I'm totally getting a rhythm of just knowing, you know, they always say greens make you lean. Um, well, I'm understanding using greens to just absolutely satiate my insanity. So I, I'm i also kind of using um, more bulk, so just more cucumbers, more um, zucchini of celery, you know, and then some tomatoes, some baby bells, some, you know, other things and delicious dressings that I'm creating myself, which is fabulous. And one of them that I did tonight was so simple and fantastic. Three ingredients. It was so delicious. Get ready for it. One zucchini, three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and one mandarin orange. Rock and roll peeps. It is delicious. I'm still rejoicing. Man, I just ate my whole bowl of salad and was loving life. All right, so I do have a quote I want to share. I'll use it as the icon for this video. It's by one of my favorites, Henry David Thoreau, who wrote On Walden Pond. Ah, oh, it's such a brilliant book. If you never read it, I read it in ninth grade, but I reread it because my perceptions have changed since being a ninth grader, right? Anyway, I love this one. I'm going to read it in its entirety and then I'll break it down. It says, as a single footstep will not make a path on the earth, so a single thought will not make a pathway in the mind. To make a deep physical path, we walk again and again. To make a deep mental path, we must think over and over the kind of thoughts we wish to dominate our lives. I love that. I just love that. I just saw that a single footstep will not make a path on the earth. So true. By definition, a path has to be more than one, right? Um, so yeah, you have to keep walking forward. A single thought will not make a pathway in the mind. So often we'll hear something once and then be like, oh, what was that? I can't remember. You have to do it several times, right? To make a deep physical path, we walk again and again. So obviously becoming vegan and certainly raw vegan um, you know, it's just been over a year, but I've had to seriously do the research, uh, risk falling backwards, try and find what works for me, what doesn't. Um, listen to the experts, listen to them again and again and again. Hear those videos, hear that input, watch them modeling the recipes again and again and again. Um, to make a deep mental path, we must think over and over, and this is the key part right here, the kind of thoughts we wish to dominate our lives. You know, when you obsess, and, and I try and offer everything to God and let him have it, um, you know, and, and trust that it'll be handled. Obviously, because it's been four months of trying to get a teaching job and asking, I've knocked on his door several times and left a bunch of messages. Um, not that I don't trust, but I am human and we're on a human timeline. And I just keep reminding him that I'm here and that I still need his help. But we have to keep 
the kind of thoughts that want to dominate our lives. And for me, it's not the negativity. In fact, I've, I've never obsessed about negativity. I've never even really wondered about people who were negative in my life. I've really had the grace to be able to assess where they're coming from, why they're responding to life the way that they are. Um, I generally, because maybe I'm a prayer person, I don't let it directly affect me. And, and that's kind of lucky. Um, I am totally a person who can see the silver lining, see the glass half full, um, see the beauty and things that people don't, you know, a dark, miserable day. I can see how all color is exaggerated by the grayness of the sky. And it's never depressing for me. Um, you know, again, when people are acting out, I can usually see their little child, their inner child, actually scared or, you know, what the truth is behind that. And I've been back to my affirmations, yay. One of my favorite affirmations, and it's been very important in this time, and I am always provided for, and I know that. Um, I know that the money will always come from somewhere. The resource will always come from somewhere. The answer in the you know, doctorate paper that I write will come from somewhere. I mean, I'm really good about that. But here's one of them. You might want to write this down. It's abundance is my divine right. I am healthy, wealthy, and loved. Abundance is my divine right. I am healthy, wealthy, and loved. And that's by Louise L. Hay, who's one of my favorite people. She exited the planet about a year ago. But, you know, you say that 15 minutes a day, and you might be thinking, 15 minutes, I don't have 15 minutes, but you'd be surprised you do have 15 minutes. Whether it's the first five minutes when you awake, whether it's 10 minutes while you're folding laundry or doing the dishes, five minutes before bed, whatever it is, it will change your life. Even right now, like little miracles have been coming because I didn't know how I was going to pay the mortgage. And um, luckily, I got approved for unemployment. And even though it's far less than what I make, it will be enough. And there's other small things that are coming. Mostly, me just being optimistic and feeling well is the greatest blessing of all, right? So let's do that again. Abundance is my divine right. I'm healthy, wealthy, and loved. You know what? I'll write that in the description of the video as well. All right, let's go back over this again because it's such a good one. Henry David Thoreau. And you can look him under Brainy Quotes, it's called. If you go to Brainy Quotes, you can just pull up his quotes. He has a zillion, a zillion life-giving fantastic quotes. Um, I'm going to stick with this one, but one second because I know I put another one right here which I appreciate so much. Yeah, this is from him too. Never look back, unless you're planning to go that way. <laughs> unless that's the direction you're going, don't look back. I love that. He's just awesome. An awesome, conservative, amazing person who understood the importance of nature and life. All right, let's go through it again. As a single footstep will not make a path on the earth, so a single thought will not make a pathway in the mind. So great. You've got to take more than one step if you're going to make a path. Otherwise, it's just a footprint. You have to. You're able to let a negative thought go the first time if you choose not to obsess about it. To make a deep physical path, we walk again and again. So true. Like my, my uh, students and my husband and my family started to believe that I was serious about this vegan thing because I continued to walk again and again in this path. To make a deep mental path, and this is so important, where are you going with your thoughts? Are you going to do affirmations? To make a deep mental path, we must think over and over the kind of thoughts we wish to dominate our lives. It was such a treat. I found a letter that I wrote my husband 30 years ago. 32 years ago. I wrote him a letter 32 years ago, and I was so pleasantly surprised that I was exactly who I am now. That I was saying things like, praise God, and what a blessing, and, you know, God is good, and, and like all those things, I realized that I have been affirming those dominant thoughts in my life 
on my tongue, in my head for years. <laughs> no wonder I have such steadfast faith. Well, that's the same thing. You know, my belief that lean is green, uh, plants for the win, um, you know, all, all, all the things that I've been learning in so many Tannyisms, and she hates it when people say that, but Tanny Raw is a phenom in the vegan community and in the raw vegan community, and she is so consistent in all the things that she says. You can look her up on any social media platform. And I just love that because when I'm tempted, I hear her repeated, repeated, repeated thoughts that have come to dominate my own life. Is that food? Is that toys? Are those food-like products? Um, you know, how's that going to serve you if you eat that? You know, I like all these things that have allowed me to be clean for the last, you know, for the majority of a year for definitely six months and absolutely the last three weeks. All right, my friends, that's the thought for the day. I'd love to know your comments below. Like if you like, subscribe if you haven't. And until we talk again, be blessed.